What's up, everybody? Gooders55 here. Uh, a big day for Vanderbilt sports. Um, Vanderbilt baseball got their ninth straight win in a row as we continue to be number two in the nation, I believe. Uh, and SEC play is just around the corner, seems like. And uh, as we enter March, March Madness, Vanderbilt gets their third straight win, making us 13 and 15. And though we're already talking about next season, but I don't really see why we still have a shot at NIT. And, you know, who knows, some crazy stuff could be happening in the SEC Championship, and we could win that in and, and the SEC Tournament Championship. You saw our magic last year. That's why I'm wearing this hat. When we defeated K Kentucky last year in the SEC Tournament Championship. So win the SEC Tournament Championship. To be champs of the SEC. So, uh, who knows, but... Uh, we got our third straight win. You know, as always, it's not that easy, but because Auburn kept being feisty, looking for their tenth win, and kept trying to come back, come back, but we wouldn't let them. And we were in Auburn, and they took an early lead, but we shut that down real quick and kept it for the rest of the first and the whole second half, I believe. Uh, I think Kevin Bright had another good game. This freshman's really turning it on. Kevin Bright, he's he's going to be just great to have for the next three seasons. You know, I'm guessing he doesn't go into the league uh, too early. But Kevin Bright, he's a great, great player. And I'm really excited to see what else he can do. And this is only his freshman year. But right now, the Preds are playing in the Shark Tank at San Jose. We're down one nothing. 11 minutes and a half left in the second period. Plenty of time for the Preds to get the win in NHL play. So let's go Preds. Let's go Smashville. Uh, as we're playing in San Jose, the Shark Tank. Um, also, got an extra question from Haas4107. Thanks for asking, Haas. Uh, uh, the question was, what are my thoughts on James Franklin? That was the first question. Um, when he first got here, I wasn't sure what my thoughts were on him. Uh, I couldn't really tell you. You know, I didn't know much about him. I didn't hear about him. I just knew that he was a Maryland offensive coordinator. I kind of looked him up in a way and... Uh, found out he had one bad year at Maryland where I think they went 3-9. and nine. So I wasn't too sure about him, but, you know, we needed a coaching change. Robbie Codwell wasn't making the cut, and Robbie Codwell knew he wasn't making the cut in the first year. I I never was a fan of him as the head coach anyway. He's a great coach in other positions, and he's proved that over the years, but he just wasn't cut out for a head coach, especially for Vanderbilt. So uh, we went 2-10 and 10 with Robbie Codwell, so I'm glad he quit so we didn't have to fire him. But uh, um, James Franklin, when he got here, you know, he talked a lot of game, so definitely got me excited. I think anybody uh, would never have guessed that we'd get in the, that we would get this good, you know, just from an OC from Maryland. So uh, I'd definitely be devastated if we lost him now. So that means that he's doing something right. So my thoughts on James Franklin, A+. Plus. He's really doing great for us. And uh, that's the Sharks score another one on the power play. Uh, we started out on the power play in this period. And, of course, we can't score in the power play, but the Sharks will. I think we started out in the power play in this period. Um, <clears throat> voice cracks. Uh, the second question from Haas4107 was, do you think we'll ever see Vanderbilt at the top of the SEC East? Yes, I do one day. Uh, Vanderbilt fans are already talking about BCS bowl berths and going to, like, the All-State Sugar Bowl or a national championship. And I'm just sitting here thinking, I just want to win an SEC championship. What can we do to win an SEC championship? Because the only way Vanderbilt's going to a BCS bowl game, let's just be real, Commodore fans, is if we win an SEC championship. And if you can't accept that, then quit being a fan of the Commodores. Because, you know, I've been following this team for years, my whole freaking childhood, really. And I learned that right on spot. We have to win an SEC championship if we ever want a shot at a BCS bowl berth because Vanderbilt's not going to go to a BCS bowl game if we don't win an SEC championship. And uh, so my first worry is to go to Atlanta, go to the ATL, to the Georgia Dome, whenever they decide not to destroy that or whenever they destroy it. Just go to Atlanta and win the SEC championship. That's my first concern. And then we'll talk about BCS Bowl games later. But I just want to see an SEC championship, and that could still be years from now as we're losing Zach Stacy, and now we don't have Warren Norman because he's out with that knee injury from his fifth season. So, you know, my first concern is the SEC championship. So, I'm glad we have Jordan Matthews back as wide receiver. He's going to be a key player. We needed him back for a senior year. Thank you, Jordan Matthews, for staying for your senior year. But, uh, 
my first concern is the SEC championship. So I think we will get on top of the SEC East eventually in the next five years. We'll be in the SEC championship. Write that down. Heard it here first from Goto's 55. Thanks for asking questions, Haas. And uh, that's all i got to say. Go to Good job in baseball and basketball today, guys. Keep it up.